new videos every day. Hello, my name is Jessica Tennant, and I'm here to talk to you today about starting a new weight loss program. I was over 100 pounds overweight, and I had started every new diet, tried every new thing in the world. But what I found is until I stopped and assessed my own self and personal situation, no diet was going to help me. My suggestions for everyone looking to start a new program is to simply stop and assess yourself. Look inward. Our answers lie within. Some basic questions to ask yourself is why are you consistently overweight? Are, do you just always have 10 to 20 pounds to lose? Or are you excessively overweight, perhaps morbidly obese, and always have been? You need to ask yourself, do I want to just lose a few pounds? Or are you finally ready to get out of a lifestyle of obesity and excessive weight and live a life of health and fitness? One primary thing to look at is whether you're overweight and always have been simply due to your lifestyle and schedule. If so, then it's probably just that you're eating out of convenience. If that's the case, we know that we have to address your schedule, routine, cooking, and the overall nutrition that you are not getting. Another question to ask yourself is whether or not you've always had a weight problem simply due to internal physical body situation. What I'm talking about is your organs, your lymphatic system, your endocrine system, whether or not you've always retained excess fluids, whether your digestive system works. In order to find the answers, you need to consult a physician. Many of you probably have already and you haven't gotten any answers or no answers that have actually helped you. If that is the case, I highly recommend seeking out alternative medicines. If I wouldn't have found Chinese medicine and acupuncture to fix my spleen and my endocrine system and balance my hormones, I never would have lost the weight, regardless of the lifestyle that I would have lived. It absolutely was essential to my success. More important than anything of what we have to ask ourselves is about our mind and our overall mindset. It doesn't matter what we do for our external body, our diet and exercise, if we don't look within into our mind and our overall mindset. One primary tool that is essential to our mindset that I don't think very many of us are very aware of, it's our self-talk. And what that is, it's the conversations we have in our head all the time with ourselves that we're probably so accustomed to, we don't even know we're having it. One thing we need to be aware of is whether or not these conversations are positive or negative. Negative self-talk is so destructive to ourselves that we simply cannot succeed if we're having these conversations. If you wake up in the morning ready to go, very positive, and the conversations in your head are something like, today's going to be a great day, today I'm going to live my authentic self, I'm going to be positive and succeed today. But by the end of the day, you're hearing conversations in your head like, you knew that there was no chance you could succeed today. You haven't succeeded any day and you should have just given up long ago. You stand no chance of success for anything in your life. What you need to start to do is monitor those conversations. Even so much as if you need to keep a notepad and track these. You need to track the negative dark comments that come through your head and as soon as you feel them coming on or as, you, as soon as you hear them in your head, stop right then and there and say something positive. This is going to be an awkward exercise when you start doing it because you've simply probably never ever done this. It is going to be the most essential tool for you succeeding in the future. One of the most effective tools to stop the negative self-talk in our head is with something called affirmations. Affirmations are comments that we say out loud that we put out into the universe that are positive and direct and will help us turn a corner from negative to positive. An example of how affirmations work would be one evening after work, you were in a grocery store. You really wanting a donut, you have that internal push and pull whether or not you should go ahead and have that donut that they have on display waiting there just for you. And you hear in your head, go ahead and have that donut. You know you're fat, you're gonna be fat tomorrow, whether or not you have this donut now is going to make no difference. You have to stop that negative comment, that self-destructive comment immediately in its path. And right there in the grocery store, perhaps maybe a little quieter than you would do at your, at your home or in your car, you want to tell yourself, I am health. 
my mind is healthy, my body is healthy, my soul is healthy, and my lifestyle is healthy. And that will put out into the universe the positive comments that are going to lead you to retraining your brain, to retraining your soul, to live a life of health. What you do not want to do is make it future tense. You don't want to say, I will be healthy tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be strong. It's a positive, direct, forceful comment that is right now, I am healthy, I am strong, I am confident. Perhaps the absolutely most effective tool we have to start to retrain our mind and our body and our soul is through meditation. However, meditation is quite difficult and takes a while to train your mind to quiet itself and to train your body to quiet itself. Our actual goal in meditating is to quiet our mind and body, to get out of the thoughts that we have about our day, to get out of how our body is feeling at the moment, and to look at our true authentic self. In doing so, this is where you can let the universe know that you are finished with needing to carry the extra weight. You no longer need it and you are ready to let go of it. However, meditation is an art form and it does take a lot of practice to train our mind to quiet and to train ourselves to get out of our physical body. If meditation is new to you, I highly recommend seeking out new ways to meditate. We will have additional videos here on this website about meditation specifically, but for right now, just open your mind to the education on beginning a meditation practice. I do recommend starting with a guided meditation where somebody is talking to you through an audio CD or the computer and it talks you through the process versus you trying to start out figuring out how to do this on your own. If you're new to meditation, what I can recommend that everybody can do is something called morning pages. I first heard about them in a book by Julia Cameron called The Artist's Way, although it's a tool that's used across the board in many different facets of life. Morning pages are when you get up in the morning, very first thing after you go to the restroom, perhaps make some coffee or water, sit down with three pages. It doesn't have to be three front to back, that would be six. Just three simple pages and all you simply do is write. Write whatever thought comes into your mind. This is a judgment-free zone. You don't have to be politically correct. You don't have to be socially correct. You don't have to be grammatically correct. You are simply writing what comes to your mind. Even if it's 5.30 in the morning and you can't think of anything to write, you can sit there on the page writing, I can't think of anything to write. That's okay. The goal is that in the end it is going to accomplish the same thing as a meditation. You are going to empty your mind so that when you start your day after that, you are starting with a new perspective, a fresh mind, and a new outlook. So in the meantime, while you're looking inwardly and asking yourselves these questions, please remember there's no point in asking yourself these questions if you're not going to give an honest answer. Really look within. These aren't things that you need to come up with in a day or even in a weekend but start to go through this process, answer yourself honestly these questions and start to look inward. In the meantime, while you're doing that, go ahead and make healthy decisions. Just because you haven't started the new diet doesn't mean that you can't make a healthy decision for lunch or for dinner, or it doesn't mean that you can go ahead and not pass up that alcohol tonight at the party. Go ahead and continue to make healthy decisions and that will slowly start to change your external body while you're working on your internal body. And most importantly, put on some tennis shoes and start to move your body. Exercise is free. Moving your body is free. It's a God-given right that your body needs and it cannot do without it. Start moving your body in some form or another. You don't have to decide that you're gonna go for a run in the morning. Simply maybe walk to the mailbox and back tonight. If that was comfortable, do it again tomorrow or do it twice tomorrow. Start to move your body, continue to make healthy decisions, and in the meantime, look inward, focus on your mind, focus on your lifestyle, focus on your internal physical body, and before you know it, you will be leading a life of health and fitness and nutrition, and you haven't even started a new diet. In a future video, I'm actually going to talk to you more directly about affirmations, give you more direct examples on how they can change your life. And in another video, I'm going to go ahead and give you five tips on the most important nutritional changes you can make that will start to change your body inside 
so you can see the changes on the outside. Thank you so much for listening today. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to the channel for additional videos to come. You can also check out my website, jessicatennant.com, for additional blogs and videos and for more information on myself. Thank you and have a great day.